he's about to come out of that hut higher than giraffe testicles, if you'll <laughs> forgive the expression. <laughs> <laughs> Weaponized methane gas, the fart of war. What's up, everybody? I hope this finds you well. A few nights ago, I was watching Robert Downey Jr. give his speech for the Oscar he won for his role in Oppenheimer, and boy, did he turn in a formidable performance. And it harkened back to an interview I watched of his like a decade ago, many moons ago, where he was talking about his role in the following film, 2008's Tropic Thunder, which I feel I would be remiss to avoid watching any longer. So this represents me doing that. Thank you for being here. If you're interested in supporting this channel, like this video, leave me some comments down below in order to facilitate some undulation with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all 4,000 of you subscribers here on YouTube. Your time and your support is not lost on me. It's invaluable. And if you're looking to support the channel further, go ahead and moonwalk over there to the Patreon, Mr. Valentine Reacts. Thank you to all my patrons over there. You guys are amazing. And a special shout out goes to Elijah J, Katie S, Russian Paul, and Robert M for being prestige worldwide members over there. They are getting early access, full length reactions. So if you're interested in supporting the channel thusly, come on in, the water's fine, but this view is just as valuable. And I appreciate you, but without further ado, 2008's Tropic Thunder, let's tap into it. Wait a second. Huh? Wait, take me out to dinner first, movie. Al Pacino got that booty sweat. Popping an ass open. Booty sweat and busted nut bars available at concessions now. Break me off a piece of that busted nut bar. Um, no gracias. The one man who made a difference five times before is about to make a difference again. Movie franchises, am I right? I love me some Ben Stiller. His role in Dodgeball and Greenberg are unmatched to me. Leave me a comment if you object to that previous statement. Anything else? Oh, yes, my dear man. Mope. Jackson Black. <laughs> I'm tempted to say I clicked on the wrong movie, but I know I'm being trolled, right? He identifies as a skinny person. This this movie has me crying laughing in the first three minutes of it. From the Fox Searchlight. Five-time Academy Award winner Kirk Lazarus. And MTV Movie Award Best Kiss winner Tobey Maguire. <laughs> I like how he playing himself. Crying Monkey Award. Satan's Alley. Satan's Alley. Hmm, this parody is uncannily similar to the 2021 film Benedetta. Did y'all see that? Because Benedetta is a buck wild movie. Buck wild. Joe Buck. Milwaukee Bucks. Oh, okay. The prelude to this movie was a hoot and a half. Dare I say a hoot and three quarters. Rescue Sergeant Four Leaf Tayback from a heavily guarded NBA prison camp. The mission was considered to be near suicide. Of the ten Suicide Squad, Margot Robbie. I need fast rulers on my Yankees. Don't stop me! Power, this is why I got. Oh! <laughs> Gory. Get on that horn and get some firepower, boy! Gory Feldman. That's not cool. He can't hack it. He can't hack it. That is Robert Downey Jr. With a tan. Did I see Black Power on his helmet? Melodramatic. 
much. Call me elliptic, fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Why must they be elliptics? I'm playing with grenades. I'm cold, like. I can't feel my legs. Ain't nothing but a thing. <laughs> Yo, Dre, I got something to say. Oh, got a hand it to you. That's gruesome. <laughs> Why is he blubbering like that? I'm sorry, can we cut? Can we cut? No, no, no. Time out, time out, time out. Favorite. I don't want to do a countdown before I do the no scene. Countdown. No countdown. We okay, just do it off of action. Just in your own time. Good. So I'm, and, not, I'm not a rocket ship, okay? okay. All right. And action. action. He said, I'm not a jukebox. Oh, thanks. Everybody crying. Hey, it's sad. You know what? See how agitated he is now. Let's let's make lemonade. Okay. Let's go to work. Still wrong. Come on. Let's snowball this. Lean into it. Where you going? Let's rewrite it. X and Jackson can't cry. That's okay. what's going down. You know what, Kirk? I'm ready to do the scene. Pew, pew. Shots fired. Valentine flipped the script. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this might be the only acceptable form of blackface. Because he's I mean, don't quote me on this, but Robert Downey Jr. is he's pulling it off, right? Or is it just me? More bad news from the Vietnamese set of Tropic Thunder, where a four million dollar explosion Maria Menunos, rather. What is this, the beginning of a movie in Regal Theaters? Newbie trivia. Let me tell you something. A lot of people disrespecting me. They say that oh, the movie is just about farts. It's about family. And f you, you can't do what I do. Fresh from it. Flatulence has some profundity to it. You just gotta know where to look and squint your eyes a bit. Your psychological eyes. I ain't got a good brain. I think you've got a fine brain, Jack. You m m m m uh oh. <laughs> <me heavy. laughs> He's flirting with impropriety in that role. Well, well, make audiences happy in what's being called the most expensive Rick war back. movie never made. The disrespect, Maria Menounos. I'm not Tom Tugger Knots. It's the Pecker. You got time for your agent? All right, all right, all right. I'm looking at your ugly mug on the back cover of Vanity Fair magazine holding a cute, cuddly banner <laughs> from cute. Their survival is not so black and white. Wordplay, am I right? Work on those tears, my man. I love you, buddy. Crisis. Crying on command. It's not that simple, Jack. Which one of you fuck faces is Damien Cockburn? Ah, uh, that's me, sir. Uh, is this last name Cockburn? Who here is a key grip? You. You. Hit that director in the face. Really fucking hard. No way. <laughs> No questions asked. Sorry, man. Ow, ow, ow. He put his back into that. Hey, Les, I have this. And if you're angry, but I am dealing with a bunch of prima donnas, clowns. Prima donna, post Madonna. No disrespect. Les, that's uh, Four Leaf, Sergeant Four Leaf Tabor. Wrote the book. He is about that life, you know? Must put those boys in the shit. Wanna make your movie or not? Yes. Then we take those boys up there. Me and Cody, we could light up that fucking jungle. Okay. So Trying to elicit a genuine natural response. Okay. How long are we gonna be gone anyways? Because I left most of my uh, vitamins back at the hotel. Vitamins? What you got, Jack Black? Some um, echinacea? With hidden cameras. And I will be shooting as well from unseen vantage points so that every glorious moment is captured on film. <laughs> Believe me, gentlemen, it will be glorious. Will the mission be a success? Let's go. Let's go and make the greatest war movie ever. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we? Hey. Yeah. Oh. Yo, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. No way! He just got blasted to smithereens. 
It seemed a little weird. It's like a time. Yeah! Time. I don't think that was part of the deal. Uh oh, wait. You guys aren't in Kansas anymore, I don't think. He's messing with our heads. That's what all that playing God stuff was about. He's trying to get us to act good. He ain't playing God. He's being judged by him. Wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> they just witnessed him being decimated. I think I can spot prop head when I see one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's corn syrup, guys. No. Corn syrup and latex. No, he's not. Warm blood flavored corn syrup. Oh. I think it might be the real McCoy. Wow. Ooh. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Ooh you get down now. Ah, oh my God. Oh. Whoa, look at me. Ooh. You're going to be shot. And I'm going to make sure because I'm the director. Ooh, and I'm from London. He is being slightly obtuse. Hilariously. Dead or alive. It's a pretty cool sidearm you got there. What is it? What is it? I don't know what it's called. I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's life. Okay. Uh, Damien, we're go for explosion. The gentleman has seen some sh stuff. She a Brooklyn be back in the tag for getting the coach. He died, he probably got coochie, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we need to bring the word coochie back. You know Chris Angel, mind freak, David Blaine, trap dog, horse shit jumping off here? Hey, you want to get on the train here? Or Wait, you want to ruin another... Robert Downey Jr. might be black. Has he done his ancestry DNA? Why are you still in character? Man, I don't drop character till I've done a DVD commentary. <laughs> <laughs> and not a moment too soon, Daniel Day-Lewis. Serendipitous. I mean, yeah, not being afraid, thinking it's fake, would work, work in your favor. And cut! Ingenious. Just a little taste. What are you doing, Jeff? Fucking nothing, man. It's jelly, I'm eating jelly beans. Oh, I love huh? jelly beans. Can I please? No, you can't! What is he partaking in? Fun dip? 90s babies, anybody? Shout out Fun Dip, man. Just wish I had a director like this. I'm Jack. I'm Jay. What, Jack? What, what you talking about? Simple Jack? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Simple Jack, yeah. You went all out on that one. <laughs> you did. You really swung for the fences. Balls to the wall. Yeah, it was an intense experience. I just did the work. Watched a lot of retarded people. Spent time with them, observed them. Watched all... Clinically? The clinical term. Yeah, exactly. You know, there were times when I was doing Jack that I actually felt retarded. <laughs> retarded. Oh, yeah. Damn. In a weird way, I had to sort of just oh. free Tempo. up to believe that it was okay to be stupid or dumb. To be a moron. Yeah. To be moronical. Exactly. <laughs> to be a moron. <laughs> An imbecile. The dumbest motherfucker that ever lived. To be the idiot. The Dostoevsky character. I flushed so much out, how am I going to jump start it up again? It's just like, yeah, yeah, right? You was farting in bathtubs and laughing your ass off. <laughs> Who among us hasn't farted in the bathtub? Leave me a comment if you wouldn't deign to fart in the bathtub. You're serious? You don't know. Everybody knows you never go full retard. <laughs> what do you mean? Check it out. Dustin Hoffman. This is ludicrous. 2008, am I right? You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. You don't buy that? That's Sean Penn, 2001, I understand. Remember? This is asinine. Ass. And nine. Oh, man. Uh oh. Hey. And the plot thickens. Oh, Lord. I popped a lot of pills. Oh, no. That's my jelly beans. No, no, no. A 
bar, 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 bar is the word. <laughs> Shit! Yo, man, I gotta bust it up. You go to hell! Seriously. You gotta what, my good sir? If I can put that map in your hands, can I couch you in? I guess you're done, man. <laughs> Key and Peele. Good game, Slappy. Now you're dead. You won't be here to Did this? <laughs> Did this foreshadow the pandemic? The origin of the a certain virus? Tell him, McCluskey. Tell him what time it is. I'm leaving, people. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> what do you mean, you people? Huh? I, I think what uh, Chuck me. means is... <gasps> yeah, this is outlandish. What, is what, is what do we mean, our people? We the people. I think that's what I'm going for, but you know, dude. You more shredded than a Julian salad, man. Yeah. What's the secret, dude? It's a diet. I'm just dying, yeah. Because yeah. I'm trying to come up a little, but it's just... <laughs> no, you look good. In the tips? Yeah. What? Any tips you got? Like, you know, like a pineapple. Give me that goddamn hey, map! Fuck you! <laughs> I need to see what Robert Downey Jr. studied that got him so pitch perfect on this role. <laughs> Introduce myself. Uh, but you know, Sony, every PlayStation 3 has a Blu ray. You talking to me this whole time? I, I was talking to whoever was listening. Christ, man. A little Apocalypse Now, a little Saving Private Ryan. I'm appreciating the tone of this movie. Hell yeah! Ha! Hell yeah! Ha! That's how we all talk. We all talk like this, huh? Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah, mm hmm. Get some crawfish and some ribs. Ha! Yeah! <laughs> You're Australian! <laughs> Be Australian! Excuse me, Kangaroo Jack. He's, he's like, go back to your roots. Kunti Kente. Is he watching that on a... Oh. The nostalgia of an iPod. What is he being attacked by here? Whatever he is, he messing it up. Yo. He's, he's demonstrating some <laughs> ability. The survival of pandas is not black and white. Wait, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Did you make this whole goddamn thing up? You, you even in the fucking service? Yeah. He's a fraud. He's a charlatan. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh, turn around, brother. Uh-oh. Where have you moved on to? Another agency? Hey, who, who's with you? You are still my client, Tug Speedman. Getting the TiVo. Jack is on, I'm out the door. Oh, miscommunication, am I right? Uh, no, no, don't drink that water. That water's like a petri dish. No, don't. Do uh, uh, you have any booty sweats? Uh, yeah, get him chugging on some of the alpha's ass water. That'll bring him around. It's a cure all. <laughs> it's the panacea. Gluteus Maximus Hydration. You about to cross some fucking lines. Guys, you know stop. what? Fuck that, man. Uh oh. Koala hugging nigga. Tell him <laughs> Black on black crime. We need to stop this. That word has kept us down. What the fuck? Took a whole lot of time just to get up that hill. <laughs> now we up in the big leagues. Getting out there. Me, baby. <laughs> Ain't no wrong with that. <gasps> We're moving on up, indeed. Steve song don't make it not true. You know what? I'm gonna tell you what's true. Woo! Humor, am I right? Took a whole lot of chug I in just to get up that hill. Now I'm tripping. That looks like the people that we came from after script, yo. Steven was right? I don't think so. Bit too convincing. It looks like a heroin processing plant. We're in that chopper for hours. I, I don't even think we're in Vietnam anymore. Oh, Jack Black's character. Okay. 
That was not <laughs> that was not chili bean powder then. He's going through withdrawals. Hey Damien, what? I got speed, man. That doesn't look good. Oh, I would have to concur with your assessment. That does not look good at all. That's intimidating for a lot of reasons. You are just passing my puppy fields. A DEA scum! Were there some rewrites? He's calling you Hank Schrader. Digging into the reserves. Please d d don't hurt me. Ben Don Jack. Make <laughs> sure Ben Don Jack. You are simple Jack. You bet your sweet cheeks he's simple Jack. Let me go. No. We we'll hold you for ransom. Much more money now. Oh, man. We are flaming dragon. Speedman is with us now. For 15 million. Fifty M's? Buku. Buku. Hey, let me tell you something, shitbird. I've never even heard of your little agency. But if you think These insults here are very creative. And I will rain down on a godly fucking firestorm upon you. You're gonna have to call the fucking United Am I tweaking or are his hands ginormous? Cable. Who are these? More like simple jack teeth. Oh, okay. Hey, look, I know you're a big fan, and that's great. <laughs> He's like, um, um, let's talk about this. Is there any wiggle room here? Any latitude? Mm. Now do movie! That is difficult to digest. Why do you gotta make me feel bad? Chaos. This movie is chaos. I'm just like a little boy playing with his dick when he's nervous. <laughs> <laughs> As is customary for little boys. <laughs> a little crazy. Crazy is better than nothing. Back in 98, I did a low budget titty comedy for Skinamax. <laughs> Remember it? Okay, dude. Anyway, me. What would you book script? Spit that shit out, man! All right, the wet offensive. Oh, Cyrus. No, he should have won an Oscar for this role. Oppenheimer should have been his first. This is it. Yo, we trained actors, motherfucker. <laughs> the man up. And I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Some of us might not even make it back. What do you mean? Like, not on the same flight? The Oppenheimer's already wearing Earth Mama's natural night camo. Cool. <laughs> Why is this movie so funny, dude? Les Grossman, we not get money yet. Price now one hundred million. You pay now, or tomorrow Simple Jack dies. It's a bit. Ray. It's a bit exorbitant. One hundred million. Oh wait, I got a better idea. Instead of a hundred million, how about I send you a hobo's dick cheese? Then oh. In the fucking bastard, go to town. Hobo's dick cheese. That's not gourmet. We don't negotiate with terrorists. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, are you insane? I know, I thought it was good. They're gonna kill him. And we'll weep for him in the press. Set up a... Oh, in the press. We will give the appearance of sympathy. Speedman is a dying star. A white dwarf heading for a black hole. That's physics. Inevitable. We've been hey, that's cold blooded. The universe is talking to us right now. You just gotta listen. <laughs> See, this is the good part, Pecker. It's when Chuck gets fun.
<laughs> he said the universe thought you just gotta listen to any place. Flow rider. Let me get this straight. You want me to let my client of 15 years, one of my best friends, die in the jungle alone for some money in a G5? Right. Where's the loyalty? Where's the commitment? A G5. Is he? And lots of money. He's contemplating this. I mean, this is theater 101. When the guy's out, he's had a tough road to become a naturalist. Yeah. Break down the aesthetic distance. Then the foot. Ah! Told you I'd tag you back. That's that old karmic boomerang. But this head movie makes my eyes rain. <laughs> Wait, why is he in white face though? Oh, dang. That's torture, man. The eagle has landed. I repeat, the eagle has landed. Is that an effigy? <laughs> the old crisis of conscience. 15 years of friendship or a G5? Hmm. About you, Master Bless. You got a certain something you're trying to get with back in the States. It's like 10 girls deep 24 7. Oh, you missing me, man. I'm talking. He's swimming in Gucci. Michael Phelps, Katie Ledecky, oh wait, <laughs> strike that from the record. What's the name? Lance. Listen here, Lance. Lance, what the fuck did I just hear? <laughs> did you say Lance? No. That sounded like Lance. No, I said Nance. That's what I said, Nance. It sounded like Lance. Lance. Lance to make a dance. Lance to make a dance. When you wrote, I loved your pussy, was you thinking of dangling the dice on Lance's forehead? No, nah, hell no. Nah. What? Man, everyone's gay once in a while. I, hey, this how about we do this? How about we all get back to work? <laughs> Everybody has occasional gayness. Is that what you're postulating there? <laughs> if you're untimely, I will literally suck your dick right now. I told you for the last time, <laughs> I love the pussy. I'll cradle the balls, stroke the shaft, work the pipe. <laughs> My stomach did. Get it over here, buddy. Let's do this. I didn't call the crap from laughing. Oh, man. What? Who wrote this movie, man? I demand answers post haste. <laughs> Voila! Just like fly man, you worry. Wait too much to nudge me to GG. Hold thine cock. <laughs> he went agrarian real quick. I'm a land farmer, motherfucker. <laughs> Ammunition is a tough row to hoe. Firearms are my crop. Fire farm? Show me where the drugs are. What the fuck? That ain't the plan. Don't judge me! <laughs> no, no, no. You're being judged. You're compromising everybody to get your fix. My son gave this to me. That's your stick, buddy. His name is Twigman. Does he want to come with us? <laughs> We've lost him. Over here! <laughs> he hit him with the... <laughs> oh. He uses his body weight. It's extremely effective. Pokemon, anybody? He's about to come out of that hut higher than giraffe testicles, if you'll <laughs> forgive the expression. <laughs> Don't 
do it. Doesn't matter what I do. I'll always be a screw up. No one will ever respect me. That is not true. You are not a screw up. Pathos. We only laugh at my farts. Jeff, we really need to go now. <laughs> this is all I deserve. <laughs> Weaponized methane gas. The fart of war. Come on, what are you guys doing? Let's get out of here. <sighs> Same thing happened to me when I played Neil Armstrong in Moonshot. Found me in Alley in Burbank. Trying to re enter to Earth's atmosphere in an old refrigerator box. Losing oneself in a row. Like Austin Butler's voice in the Elvis role. It's me, Tug. That's right. Now, Tug who? Tug who? I don't know. Who I am? I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. What? You a dude that don't know what dude he is. Death, complexity. There's layers to this. There's levels to this. What are you guys talking about? I play other dudes. I know what dude I am. Yeah. I get scared of what? I'm scared of who? Yeah, he's like, this is a case of pot calling the kettle black. Pun unintended, but I'll take it. Uh, not Sergeant Lincoln, Luther. Uh, <laughs> we gotta roll out. <laughs> that was such a convincing fro. Like Steve Harvey's. Did y'all know there was a wig this whole time? I feel led astray, bamboozled, took. Need you, your men need you. Are you with us? I'm a risk her illusion. Fuck it. I'll deal with him later. Let's move on. Let's put a pin in this. Long as we can skedaddle. <laughs> Scurry on up out of here. Uh oh. Oh my god. I am moving to catering after this. <laughs> that is astounding. Get to Z Chopper. Yeah, snap back to reality. Up there goes gravity. Up there goes rabbit he. Choke, but he's so mad, but he. Wait! What the hell is he doing? Hey, you gotta blow the bridge! Please, you gotta blow the bridge. Come on, you know. Symmetrical storytelling. Get over here! I have a son now. Little half squat. Who in Crikey fuck is half squat? He's my <laughs> Crikey. He needs me. I have to go back to him. Okay. You tell the world what happened here. What happened here? You lost your marbles. He you lost your marbles. He's a bit delusional with a capital D. Take care of the boys. I'll deal with these guys. <laughs> what if he assimilates and they live happily ever after? I was wrong! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Talk, talk about your son backstabbing you. <laughs> he checked him like a rag doll. Why, good night. Yeah, you gotta tell the audience that little kid's still alive. Even if he got catapult. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. I know, they're in the puddle right there. There's a puddle right there. Hey, I want you to know something. What? I know who you are. You're my friend. You got a friend in me. But do do. Cool, brother. Like a brother where there was no animosity. Doc, look, now you got some real tears going. Really? It's the stuff that accolades made of. Oh, Tugboat. There's loyalty in this world after all. Forget about the G5. Oh, 
<laughs> Just in the nick of time. And the Oscar goes to Todd Speedman. Wonder the true story behind the making of the most expensive fake true war story ever. <laughs> Oscars, $400 million. You saved Tug Speedy's career. Mm. I couldn't have done it without you, Sloan. All's well that ends well. Really? No, dickhead, of course I couldn't. A nutless monkey could do your job. Wow. Now go get drunk and take credit at all the parties. I would never do ah, that to you. I'm joking. Fuck, okay. Thank you, Les. Yeah. Thank you. We have a good night. But seriously, a nutless monkey could do your job. Come on. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. No. A, a spade monkey can perform as adequately as you. Make no bones about it. If he plays Flo Rida again. Flo Rida. Oh, Luda. It's so random. I ain't trying to hear. <laughs> of course, they end the movie. What better way to end the movie <laughs> than a Tom Cruise dance sequence serenaded by Ludacris, the man, the myth, the Cat Williams legend. Ah, he got that G5 after all. Tom Cruise, dude. <laughs> I feel rejuvenated after watching that. And, you know, just the devices, the structure of comedy in this movie here hit all the beats. You know, all the angles of comedy. You had the politically incorrect of the R word and blackface. And yet it was done, dare I say, tastefully. I want to say tastefully because it was done with full awareness of the knowledge of the nature of what it was, you know, meaning it's offensive in a certain sense, but the way they were wielding it and executing it was not, to me at least, you know, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. He, sh bro, he should have won the Oscar for this. Oppenheimer should not have been his first Oscar. This should have been many moons ago, hearkening back to the year 2008. Ben Stiller is amazing. You know, along came Polly, Ben Stiller, fantastic. Greenberg, as I mentioned. And every role I have seen him in, he has performed intriguingly. Jack Black, Jack, ba Jack Black and Margot at the wedding, Noah Baumbach, one of my favorite filmmakers, his, he, he stole every scene he was in. And in this film, it was <laughs> funny. I, am a, I guess I'm Jejun. I'm <laughs> that's my... <laughs> That's my sense of humor, though, <laughs> because it was built up in a certain way that he made his money. He was kind of like resentful that he was being judged of making his living off of farts. And then at a very opportune moment, <laughs> it came in handy, so to speak. Um, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. was very memorable. He left an indelible impression. I can't remember the interview in which I saw him discussing this role or the context of what he said, but I remember it being like, I need to see it. And cut to a decade later, here we are. Here we are. A movie about a movie. I like, um, yeah, I, like, I, I can never, that concept never grows stale to me, you know, stale gribble. Um, because it takes a lot of inventive, inventiveness and confidence and trust in the audience to follow along and yet stay engaged with the proceedings. And I was with this movie every step of the way, every peak and valley of the, <laughs> of the narrative. I was, uh, I was interested to see how it would play out. And the conclusion was fitting for me. Of course, <laughs> Tom Cruise is gonna be dancing to get back. You do not know me like that. He's a mercenary, he's greedy, he's avaricious, synonyms. And you know, he was willing to let Tug Speedman, 
Which, come on now. <laughs> that is one of the most appropriately named characters since I've heard of Bilbo Baggins in Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah, this was thoroughly enjoyable. And, you know, it's impressive. This is an impressive movie because the the riffs on certain slurs and <laughs> sexualities were done within the context of a lack of self-seriousness and parody and satire and a commentary on those who method act like Robert Downey Jr.'s character. What's his name? Kirk, Kirk Lazarus, which is another appropriately chosen name. Um, people like Daniel Day-Lewis, Heath Ledger, rest in peace. Um, people who, even when the camera's not rolling, or Jeremy Strong, who plays Kendall Roy in Succession, you know, they're mythical for always staying in the character with the uh, underlying reason being they get a better angle and they get a better performance, really, really inserting themselves, insinuating themselves inside of the emotions and psychological landscape of these characters. And there's no other way in their eyes. Daniel Day-Lewis is the best example of this. No other way than to always be that person. Sacrifice one's actual identity for however long the shooting takes place. And it's fascinating to me. And Jared Leto, also Jared Leto, you know, I think that's the worst example of it. Or, you know, to each their own, who knows what differentiates uh, Daniel Day-Lewis from a Jared Leto. Hey, it's above my pay grade, but the former is magnificent. Um, but yeah, that was Tropic Thunder 2008. And I would recommend this to anyone who would listen. You know, I would scream this movie. I would suggest it to anyone. To the cows come home. Holy cow. That's funny. All right. That about does it. Thank you for watching with me today. My heartfelt gratitude goes out to you for taking your time to experience this with me. Thank you for, you know, subscribing if you're a subscriber. If not, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Leave me some comments down below, you know, to facilitate some movement with the algorithm. And, uh, you know, appreciate all my patrons over there, the Patreon, who get getting early access, extended versions, early access, extended versions, and, you know, full length reactions. I've been doing that since my Deadpool video. If that tickles your fancy, come on in. We would love to have you. And uh, moving images are the best thing since sliced bread. That's a hill on which I'm prepared to die. But that was Tropic Thunder 2008. And as always, till we meet again.